So when mounting receptacles in a device box, should it be ground prong up or ground prong down? Everything you wanted to know but were afraid to ask, stay tuned till the end where I'll reveal the truth behind this mystery. Hello again do-it-yourselfers, I'm Terry Peterman, the internet electrician, and I'm here to help you with your home electrical projects, helping you do them right, do them safely, and save you money. So who built the pyramids? How did they get those giant blocks cut to perfection and mounted in place? Are UFOs real? Are we alone here in the universe? And which way should the toilet paper hang on the holder? These are some of the great mysteries of our time, and today we're going to solve just one of them, and that's how to mount that receptacle in your device box. Let's start with looking at the argument for the ground prong up. So for the people in the ground prong up camp, here's one of the arguments I hear quite frequently when you've got a plug inserted into a receptacle. If there's any force pulling down on that plug, well, the first thing that's going to be exposed at the top here is the ground prong. Now I'll get into that a little bit later to show you why that is a legitimate argument in certain circumstances. Now some receptacle and cord assemblies are designed that way definitely where the ground prong should be up. For example, an RV receptacle and an RV plug. Almost all RV plugs you'll find, they're oriented with the ground prong up and an angle plug, 90 degree plug, and that cord comes down. I'll show you more about that later. So you wouldn't want that plugged into a pedestal in a campsite and have your cord coming up and out of that angle plug and then down to the ground. So again, we'll show you a bit more on that later. And another conversation that comes up is what looks better. Does it look better with the ground prong down or does it look better with the ground prong up? Not. So now let's look at some of the arguments for mounting the receptacle in this fashion with the ground prong down. One of them I've heard, you got a plug into the receptacle and let's say you've got a flood happening in your home. So as the water rises, up it comes and the first thing it comes into contact with is the ground prong or earth potential. That one's a little weak in my mind. Another argument for ground prong down is that when you're trying to pull the plug out of a receptacle, you can't see down below and if you happen to come into contact with anything as you're pulling it out, it would be the ground prong and not the hot prong. Had you had the ground prong up, you might accidentally come in contact with the hot side. Again, a little weak, I think. So maybe we should look at the devices themselves. Which way are they labeled? If you look at this one, this Decora from, from Leviton, I look at it and you're gonna to have to take my word for it and I'm gonna to have to take your word for it because I don't have my glasses on, but I do know I checked earlier that the labeling on the metal here, it's stamped and the text is oriented so that it reads right, it reads correctly when the ground prongs up. Hmm, that makes you think. So following that line of thinking, I take this old regular duplex receptacle and I check it out and the stamped lettering and writing of 15 amp, 125 volt is actually oriented right side up when the ground prong is down. Again, now what? I know, how about a GFI where it's got labeling on the device? So you look at it and you think, well, the test and reset buttons, which way is the text on that? And the answer, it's both ways. If you flip it this way, it says reset on the top half of the red button and test on the top half of the black button. Flip it over and they're labeled both ways. Test and reset is right side up. So when you flip it over, they go both ways. <laughs> so when you look at the back of it, here we are ground prong down. Reading the back of it, all my text is top to bottom, left to right on the back of it. Still not solved. Well, let's check out another GFI receptacle, a different make. This one, same deal, test and reset are ambidextrous. They can be read both ways. Flip it around and oh, oh, you got to flip it over with the ground prong up to read all the text top to bottom, left to right on the back of this one. 
still no closer to the truth. So here's a case when I can totally get on board with having the ground prong oriented up. Metal receptacle plates. You'll see these in industrial, commercial settings. Now here's the argument for that. You've got a plug inserted into this receptacle. All right, if everything's fine as long as that plate screw is tight. But just imagine if that plate screw by vibration or whatever reason came undone. So here's that situation for whatever reason that plate screw vibrated out, backed out, fell on the floor, plug is in the receptacle and just hanging out a little bit as we show here. And this metal plate skids over and drops down onto the ground prong. No problem. You're not going to have a dead short because that's at earth potential. So are you, you touch it, not a big deal. Of course, you're going to want to rectify the situation. But consider if this happened and the receptacle was mounted the other way. Let's plug it into the bottom half. Flip upside down at home if you'd like. <laughs> and imagine that this was the other way. And that receptacle plate shook loose and came up. Boom, in contact with the hot and neutral. Blow a hole in that plate. At the best case scenario, it's causing a dead short circuit, tripping the breaker. So you can see that's a very legitimate argument for the ground prong being up. And I wouldn't be surprised if most inspectors in an industrial setting with metal plates would actually insist that the ground prong be up. So taking that same argument a little bit further, if this receptacle was mounted on its side horizontally, then you would want to mount it so that the neutral prong was up. That's the wider slot, the neutral. And here's why, again, if that plug was out just a little bit, the plate shook loose, fell down onto the neutral prong. It could touch a neutral and the ground, not really causing a problem because they're at the same potential or should be. And you wouldn't have a problem until you rectified the situation, of course. But flipping that receptacle horizontally with the hot prong up, then as soon as that plate slid off and touched the hot prong, you'd have a live plate here. And if it dropped down and touched the ground prong as well, you'd have a dead short circuit and blow a hole in the plate, tripping the circuit breaker. Okay, and again, looking at an RV receptacle, any plug I've seen on an RV with that crow foot 125, 30 amp receptacle, the plug, if it's a 90 degree angle plug, I've always seen the ground prong up which would mean your cord is coming down out of the bottom towards the ground. And again, like I mentioned before, avoiding that cord coming up over the top and down to the ground. It'll just come straight out the bottom of the plug and causing no stress on that connection. And supplemental to all this on just a slightly different topic, here's a range receptacle. You want those a correct distance from the floor so that the cord will be in between the heating drawer and below the oven. So just the right distance off the floor. And you want these oriented sideways because the uh, angle plugs will come off on a 90 degree angle. And you'll want that cord to be coming off sideways so that it'll loop underneath and fit underneath the warming drawer on a range receptacle. So there again, plug up, ground prong up or ground prong down this case, it's sideways on a range receptacle. Okay, so as promised, let's solve this mystery once and for all. Should a receptacle be ground prong up or ground prong down? The answer, drum roll please. It just doesn't matter. There is no code rule in either North American code books that I know of, which is the Canadian Electrical Code or the National Electrical Code does not specify which way they go. So we'll solve it once and for all with my board again. There you go. What looks better? Ground prong up and the, the shocked faces emojis are upside down or ground prong down. Put me in the camp for the ground prong down in most cases. Well, I hope I've answered all your questions about the issue of ground prong up or ground prong down. Please leave some comments below if you have any further questions on this subject. And if you found this information useful, I hope you give it a like and that you'll subscribe to my channel. Terry Peterman, the internet electrician, and we'll see you in the next one.